Hello everyone, morning it's Circus Stew here and uh, looking forward to this session this morning. Now, um, Mr Bun and Mr Raccoon got some ideas in their head that they thought I might be doing something but I think they were trying to play an April Fool on you because I'm not going to wear my green leotard uh, today because I will just embarrass myself and um, we've got nowhere at home to hang ropes on the ceiling or, or silks to, to do aerial stuff so we're just not going to do that but we are going to do some uh, some fun making and some new equipment today uh, but first we might as well have a little warm up with um, some exercise so uh, I'll just turn the music up and we'll just start marching March forward and march back. March forward and march back. It's always important to get warmed up when we're doing circus. And you can make these moves as big as you like or as small as you like. It's up to you. So let's do some stretches like that and high and low and high and low and sideways up low sideways up good let's rotate our shoulders around like that nice big circles with them and let's go the other way and of course you could pretend you're swimming and some backstroke. And let's go foot forwards, foot sideways, foot backwards, foot forwards, foot sideways, foot backwards. And let's try the other leg. Forwards, sideways, backwards, forwards, side, backwards. And as you can see, it's a bit tricky for me because I'm in a really small space here. Okay, let's shake ourselves down. Good, and let's turn that off. Okay, so we're nicely warmed up. So I'm gonna adjust the camera position to my making zone today. So excuse the earthquakes that are happening. And let's go a fraction lower. Excellent. Let's see how that looks. Yep, okay, good. So, uh, for today's session, move that slightly more. We'll need some newspaper. Here's the press, a, a great newspaper. Um, and uh, uh, other newspapers are available. Um, uh, if you have a slightly bigger one, um, like a telegraph or whatever, it doesn't matter, that will work just as nice. Uh, so if, if you haven't got uh, a newspaper to hand or any paper, then you need to get that. And you also need to find some sellotape and some scissors. And um, uh, later on we'll uh, also need some uh, something to decorate the object that we're going to be making. So what we're going to be making is this. This is a homemade juggling club. So you can see here I've decorated the end with a foil. Um, and you can see I've used a uh, parcel tape here actually on here. So you've got any parcel tape that works really nicely um, uh, to make a nice firm handle. Okay, so so if you might want to get some foil or some coloured paper for the end bit, because what we're aiming to do is to to make our uh, our own version of the juggling club. And uh, Mr. Raccoon was telling me earlier that he was having fun learning to balance one of these. Um, but of course, uh, these are, uh, it's, it's not uh, possible to buy these easily at the minute during these weird times, uh, and they're also quite expensive. Whereas a newspaper one is really cheap and you can make it your own design and um, it works just as well as a big juggling club. So, so if you, uh, now it's the time to go and get some newspaper, scissors, sellotape, things to decorate it on. Pause the video and then um, then start playing again uh, when, when you're ready. And for those who are already ready, then uh, 
this is what we're going to do. So, uh, I initially want you to count out about uh, five sheets. One, two, three, four, five. And put them to one side, okay? I'm going to use those in a minute. And then I want you to count out ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sheets, okay? And uh, this, these ten sheets are going to be um, the the long the main bit of the shaft of the juggling club. And the five sheets that we've put to one side will end up being the weighted end, okay? So what we're simply going to do to make this, um, and if you if you're using a uh, a bigger format newspaper, uh, like a broadsheet of some sort, um, then um, you uh, you should find, um, uh, you should uh, uh, cut a section off at the end, which then can be used for this bit. It's normally, you normally need about, um, uh, it's about seven centimeters, three inches, and in old money, as it were, uh, at the end. So, <coughs> and we're looking for the length of this to be roughly the same length as your arm. Uh, that works nicely. Um, uh, or an adult's arm, doesn't really matter. Uh, 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 children find these are relatively simple and uh, an okay size to use. And if you compare the length, there's a, quite a bit of difference between this and a full, uh, full size club. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, even adults can find use these fine to to juggle with. So with our ten sheets, get them nicely lined up. They're starting at the uh, this end and not the not that bit. I want you to roll this up. You make a, a little fold to start with. Roll it up into a nice tight roll okay so you can see that see so that's going to be roughly the same as that which is good then get some cell tape and of course if i'd been sensible i would have cut pre-prepared my cell tape so let's uh let's do a bit now let's just put that there one piece Two pieces. Three pieces. We'll see how we get on with that. So, um, put one at one end, uh, one in the middle, and one at the other end. Okay, so that's our basic um, uh, club. Um, but it's uh, it's not weighted, as you might remember from yesterday's uh, lesson, where we're looking at the center of balance. So you can see when I'm trying to balance this on my finger, the center of of gravity of this object is roughly there. Okay, it's not in the middle. So again, for, for our newspaper club, we want to uh, currently the center of gravity is right in the middle. We want to shift it one end. Okay. And that's where we need uh, the five sheets of paper. So here are the five sheets of paper. So I think, let's see, if you fold this into three, let's get roughly, yeah, into, into thirds like that. We now have uh, a wedge of paper that we can wrap around one end of the club. So, uh, and of course, if you're doing this at home, uh, I don't recommend doing this on a bed that I'm doing it here, uh, on, do it on a desk. It's just, for me, it's a bit easier to show you everything that's happening if I do it here. Okay, so, so I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna try and do it nice and tightly. Do 
and you can see uh, I've done that nicely. And look, I've got someone's face on the end, someone from football, don't know who it is. Um, okay, so this is where we need some more sellotape. And of course, um, if you have some elastic bands at this point, you could use an elastic band to hold it together while you've got the sellotape ready. Uh, I didn't actually think of that. Uh, otherwise, I might have got some elastic bands out. And this is where I should have cut a few more bits of sellotape. Tum -de -tum -de -tum. So let me get let me get an elastic band. I'm just behind you. There's my big bag bag of elastic bands. There we are. I'm going to put that on there. That's better. I can now put that down and try and find the sellotape end. This should be a sort of, um, I wonder if there's a name for how sellotape is always really hard to find the end. Well, I think I found the end here, it just doesn't want to come up. Da, 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 da. Perhaps I lost it. I might well edit this at the end of this live session to get rid of all this fumbling with the sellotape. I'm sure it's not particularly interesting for you to watch. Uh, please post any comments while you're look, looking if you want. Okay, oh, got my sellotape now. Uh, comments are fine, questions uh, fine, I'll try to answer them. Um, and uh, of course, I'd love to see uh, your versions of these. If you, um, if you use Twitter or your Twitter or Instagram or your parents do, or friends do, then feel free to uh, tag me in uh, uh, and post a picture of all your creations. Right, oh, I've got three pieces now. Good. So let's sellotape this on. One piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. Okay, so I'm going to leave the elastic band on there for a minute. I want to feel what that feels like. So let's um, let's uh, raise this a bit. Going up. Excellent. Okay, so here's my club. Let's give it a try. Well, it's not too bad. The advantage at this point of having just wrapped it around this tube is that uh, you can adjust it so we can slide it. You can see here. So if you want to change the, uh, so we now the center of gravity is round about there. Let's have another go. That's quite nice. And let's move it further up. And that's not quite so good. Let's move it back. So you can decide, you can make the final adjustments and have a go at throwing it around and see how it works. That's not bad, I quite, quite like that. Once you find a place that's quite comfortable, then you can um, sellotape this onto the, um, onto the thing to stop it slipping anymore. And then you can take the elastic band off, you can cover it with foil, aluminium foil or colored paper. You could even paint it if you want. Um, 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 and if you've got colored tape, you could put color tape around the shaft here. Um, so that's how you make your basic uh, newspaper club, okay? So using that method, you should um, be able to create that quite easily. And then, then you just need to make another two so that you end up with three, okay? Uh, you can color them differently. And, uh, uh, and then tomorrow's lesson, we're gonna look at uh, the basics of learning to juggle with clubs, okay? So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. So have fun making your clubs um, uh, and, uh, and uh, just I'll just explain once again to test it. We're, when we throw it in the air, we basically don't want to, we don't want to flick it with our wrist like that. We're just trying to throw it up and so it, it moves naturally in the air. Because it's, the weight is here, 
it should just automatically spin without us having to flick it. So try to avoid flicking with your wrist. Just try to throw up and see how it catches that way, okay? Then, because anyone can flick it and it doesn't really tell you where this weight is. So just try and throw it without flicking and see if you can find the best place to have that weight before you stick it down. Okay, so it's great seeing you all and I look forward to um, to seeing you uh, tomorrow uh, for the next session. So until then, it's uh, Kastu signing out saying bye.